and um, I greet you once again. This is Mr. Primus. Let's look at chemistry today. For those of you that are preparing for UTME, that is jam examination. We are going to look at some questions that you are going to have. You are going to see in the examination on that day. So please pay good attention and follow us to the end. You are going to learn a lot this, in this moment. Now, how many atoms are present in 6.0 grams of magnesium? Look at these options. Of all these options, we are going to find out the one that is correct. Now, magnesium is uh, has atomic mass 24, 24. We are going to use it with this. And for every relative atomic mass, according to Avogadro's number, this number is constant. Watch 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23 atoms. For every relative atomic mass, this num it contains this, this number of atoms. But now, instead of giving us 24, we have 6. Now, generally, you start it like this. 24 grams of magnesium contains, contains 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. Right, 24 grams contains 6.02. Now, 6 grams of magnesium will contain how many? You say 6 times 6.02 divided by 24. So we'll do it 6 times 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23 is 23 here all over 24 all over 24 so 6 1 6 in 24 is 4 so 4 divide 6.02 will give you 0 0.61.505 so this is the correct one 1.505 4 divide this divided by 4 we we'll give you 1.505 so these ones are not the answers now look at it it means that if you are given an element like sulfur sulfur we know is 32 grams and you may be asked to find the number of atoms contained in possibly 8 grams of sulfur you just say 32 grams of sulfur contain 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23 then 8 grams will contain 8 times this divided by this to get the answer. So that is how to solve a question like this. Now let's look at another question. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this very let's look at this very question now. So the electronic configuration of magnesium, Mg2 plus magnesium ion is which of these? If you look at this. This is different from something like this, Mg. It's different from something like this. This one is magnesium atom. This is magnesium ion. And the atomic number of magnesium is 12. If you configure this 12, it will give you 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Uh, 3s2, that is 1, 2, 2p6, rather. So this is 2 plus 2, 4 plus this. 10. This is 12. This is the normal configuration. But look at this. 2 plus. 2 plus means it has lost 2 electrons. It lost 2 electrons to become 2 plus to form this ion, which means where it is going to lose this electron. It is going to lose this one. When this one is lost, it is lost for it to now form Mg ion, magnesium ion, which means 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. The answer is this. Look at the answer. So, should you be given an element like uh, aluminum? Aluminum, like this, that, that is 13 normally. You configure it, electronic configuration. 1s to 2, car, s carries maximum of 2, carries maximum of 2, making it 4. Remains how many? To make 13. It remains um, 9. So, we have 2p6. That is 10, remaining 3. So we have 3x2. This one cannot carry more than uh, 2. Then what? 3p1. 3p1. So 2 plus 2, 4. 10, 12, 13. Now, for you to form aluminum ion, when it forms aluminum ion, look at what it will become. Let me do it here now. For you to, okay, let me do it here. When it forms aluminum ion, aluminum ion, it means it will lose three electrons here because we have an electronic configuration if it loses three electrons it becomes there so two plus two four 
4 plus uh, 6, 10. Therefore, these ones are off. So if we remove them, if we remove them, this will be the configuration of aluminum ion. That is how to do this. So anyone you are given, please be very careful. Check the charge that is there. After doing it, subtract with the charge. Then it gives you the value. So let's look at the third question for today. Okay, let's look at this question. This question is more or less like the other one we did. So, but it has different uh, elements now. So we, have, we are going to use duplet and octet configuration. That is the 2-8 configuration to do this. So X here has, look at these options. If an element X and Y have atomic numbers 11 and 17, respectively, what type of bond can they form? These two, let's find the kind of bond that these two elements can form. Is it dative? Is it covalent? Is it ionic or metallic? So let's quickly come to this. So we are going to use duplet and octet configuration for this. So look at it. X has atomic number 11. Y has atomic number 17. Configure X. 2, 8, 1. 2 plus 8 plus 1 is 11. Configure 17. 2, 8, 7. 2 plus 8 plus 7 is 17. Now, it means that X has charge 1, combining power 1. Y also has combining power. This is 7. It remains 1 to make 8. That is the duplex structure 1. So it will form X, Y. It means that X is the donor and Y is what? The acceptor. Donor acceptor. S will donate 1 to this Y to make this one 8. So this is donor acceptor principle. And the, only, the, the one here that involves donor acceptor is what? Ionic. Ionic. So this is the answer. This one involves sharing of valence electron, covalent. Metallic bond is the one that exists in metal. And dirty bond is, um, is the other one that also involves covalent. So this is the answer. Ionic. Donor acceptor. Metal, non-metal, gives you ionic, or you call it electrovalent combination, or electrovalent bonding. So that is it for this very one. We are going to also look at other ones. Please, do well to join us. Thank you very much.